Market fluctuations have generated quite a buzz in the sector, leaving people wondering what will happen in the coming weeks. Good evening and welcome back to our Rex Fuels channel, where we discuss issues and trends facing the oil and gas industry. If you're new to the channel, can you like, subscribe and share to stay up to date with the current trends. We welcome back Pranav Khan, a seasoned expert in the oil and gas industry. Welcome, sir. Thank you. And it's a pleasure to be back again. It's a pleasure to have you as always, sir. Before we begin, I would like to wish all our viewers a happy and joyful Dhanteras. My first question to you today is, although crude prices appear to be recovering, undercurrents remain weak. What are your thoughts on the upcoming week's trend? Upcoming week? is uh, largely rooted onto the likelihood of actual production rather than the quotas of production which was impacted by the OPEC plus announcing its massive 2 million barrels per day of cuts. Now, when we look at the production, this is uh, where it gets really interesting. And uh, for some inexplicable reasons, most of the uh, most of the analysts and the market traders do not appear to pay enough attention to. Now, one simple data point, the production in the September 2021 by OPEC was at about 27.8 million barrels per day, 27.3 million barrels per day which in September of 2022 had climbed up to 29.8 million barrels per day. So all that talk about quota cards, while important, they are the production targets. Now, theoretically, if OPEC Plus were to meet its production quotas or the targets, the prices would collapse, which nobody wants. So we need to be paying a little bit more attention to the actual production and trying to have a walking hypothesis as to where the actual productions are likely to be because that's what impacts the physical markets. So looking at that and the actual production still inching up and pretty much consistently, while on the demand side, things are still not looking as robust as was anticipated. With EIA and OPEC and IMF, everybody revising the global GDP growth forecast. China's story still continues to uh, disappoint. And after this recent uh, CCP Congress, there is no clear indication on the lifting of the zero COVID policy. It appears at this stage at least to be more of the same. So in balance, we appear, uh, we think that the prices would remain in the bearish territory with a possible upside of about $3 on the Brent, on the Brent while a much bigger possibility of the downside going below $90. And this is what we feel as of says on the moment today. Wonderful insight into the market. Um, my next question to you is the possible revival of China demand and the effect of winter is expected to push prices up. What impact could these developments have? We remain rather circumspect about the positive demand upside coming from China because the data we are following and tracking does not suggest so to us. So we would need to wait and watch for further data from China to become visible and surprises on the upside. And we should not forget that China for the first time deferred the publication of its quarterly GDP without even setting or announcing a time for release of the data. So these trends or these uh, news uh, uh, which is trickling in does not 
paint a picture which is very rosy onto the China side. So we would not really buy into the China revival story till the time some more data were to present itself. And looking at the import data into China across all the commodities, including crude, the data is suggesting further decline. So we guess the impact of China onto the market in the coming weeks will continue to be bearish. Well, it was great talking to you. Thank you, as always, for your time. I look forward to our next interaction. Thanks and wishing a very happy Dhanteras and Diwali, Diwali to all our viewers. I would also like to thank all those watching, wishing you in advance a happy Diwali from the Rex Fuels team. Continue show, to show support to the channel by liking and subscribing. See you soon.